Hey guys, I'm Blondie Bites, and today I'm going to show you how to use GitHub as a social media platform. To get started, we are going to open GitHub on any browser and log in. I'm already logged in. And we're going to go to our icon, to our profile, and here we are. This shows all the information about you, what you've been working on, what you've been doing on GitHub. And so at the top here, we have contributions, which are like what you've recently committed to, repositories, which shows all of your repositories, your projects, and public activity, which shows what you've been recently working on and what you've recently committed. And if we scroll down here, we can see our contributions. And each day is almost like you clock in to GitHub, and when you make a commit, you change the color of that day. So say we click November 2nd, we can see that I made one commit. We can click this and see the actual change that I made. So this is the repository I made it to. And we scroll down. November 7th, we did some stuff. November 5th, we did some stuff. November 4th. And here's our thing on November 2nd. And then we can actually click on the commit and see what I did, what I added. I added some code. I added a method. And this can be helpful because you can go back and see changes that you've made, perhaps look and see who's been working on it. And you can also look and see what other people have committed on their days. So if we go back to the profile, here we are. So as a social media platform, there's basically three things you can do to be social, if you will. You can follow people, you can start repositories, and you can also watch repositories. So if we go to our feed, which you can do by clicking the cat up here, this is my feed. I'm following right now Kelly, you, Jace, and a couple other people. And by following them, any changes that they make to their own repositories, repositories I'm working on, any changes they make, I can see them in my feed. And so if I'm working really closely with them, I can see what they've been doing. You can also watch repositories, and when you watch them, they'll show up in your feed, and basically any changes, any commits that are pushed to that repository, you'll see on your feed. You can also set it up so that you get an email whenever someone pushes or changes something to a repository. So say I click this repository, and I go to settings of this repository, and I click on webhooks and services, and I can click add service, and I can type in email, we click email, we put in our stuff, and we can say what email address, stuff like that, and send it all up. You will need to say send from author, or else sometimes the emails won't work, but that would be how you do it. So that way, it's not only in your feed, it can also be on your email, and so your email can act as a type of feed. So besides following users and watching repositories, you can also star repositories. If we click on our icon up here again, there's something called Explore. Explore is basically a bunch of different topics, and you can see what other people within the software development community are doing. So we can say web games. I like designing games, so this might be interesting to me. This person has a clone of 2048, and so we might click this. And if you click up here, you can see what languages it's in. You can see what the code is. You can see what it's about if they've updated their README and see what's happening. And if you really like this repository, you can fork it and you can create your own version of it. So going back to our webcams, we can scroll down. Clumsy bird. Flappy bird. Okay. So say we really like it. We really like the animation. We really like the way... It's programs, something about it we like, but we don't necessarily want to use the code or anything. We can star this repository and say, I'm going to star this, and then we can click on our icon, go to your stars, and you can see Clumsy Bird here, so I can access it here. And the reason you might want to star something is if you find it interesting. There are a couple other stars I have that I found, like there's a couple cool fonts that I like. Um, there's this emoji cheat sheet, so if I want emojis in some of my code, I could use it here. So basically the social media aspect of this is that you can watch and star other people's repositories, and you can follow users, and so you can see what other developers are up to and maybe get some new ideas for your code. And you can star things like 
the emojis or the fonts or something that you might use in one of your own projects. Lastly, you can always search for users. So if we click the mouse and we click here, we could search for things like gummy or something. And it'll show us different games that might have gummy in them. Or you could search something like Google and see what Google's been working on or what people have been creating for Google or something like that. Like Google search from Python or whatever it might be. And you can see users, see what's going on, issues, code, stuff like that. So I hope this was helpful. Leave any comments, questions down below and see you soon.